Hey guys, what's up? It's Alde. Welcome to the channel again. And today I'm bringing you a video of the MacBook Pro um, gameplay of the open beta of Battlefield 4. Now, be pre-warned, this is not optimised and DICE are aware that it's not optimised and people are having a lot of problems with the frames, but luckily enough we are able to play it and we're able to get decent frames. So when the game does come out for release, you are able, you're going to be able to play this on your MacBook, so do not worry. Now, just to give you an idea, this is the 2011 MacBook and it's actually got the i7 2.2 GHz and it's the AMD 6750M which is the one gigabyte dedicated graphics card. Now, the minimum spec, well, the required specs that Battlefield have pushed out is, they said they want a three gig card, um, but you're, you're gonna be fine. You'll see in this video that you're gonna be fine. Now, as I'm running through the specs here, I was actually running that previous section of video on the 1050, and I was only getting like 20 frames, which is like a HD setting on this laptop by default. Um, I was getting about 25 to 30 frames at the top, so what I did is I pushed the screen size down to 1360 by 798, which is perfect for playing because you're getting over 30 frames, and which is, I mean, that's what's ideal for Battlefield. Um, because anything less than that, you know, you're gonna have a disadvantage. And 30, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to keep up with the fight. So I'm just running around the map now, and I'm just showing you that. You know, this is only a section of the map. I, I've not actually tested this on the big, large conquest maps with 64 players with vehicles flying around. You know, there's going to be a lot of destruction going on, so I don't know how well it's going to perform. Um, but obviously, if you take this as your benchmark, and if you've got the newer version of the MacBook, like the 2012-2013 um, MacBooks with the G, I think it's got a GTX 650M in the newer versions. You're going to get, you know, 10 frames on top of what I've got. So, you know, if I'm hitting 40 frames in this game, 30 frames in this game, you're going to be hitting 50 frames, which is going to be absolutely awesome. And you'll probably be able to run the larger Conquest maps, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, but if you've got a pr if you've got a smaller model which doesn't actually have a dedicated graphics card, um, which has got the built-in, I think it's like a HD 3000 built-in um, graphics, then you, there is other options, which is a Vidoc, um, which is like an external PCI slot which you can put a dedicated graphics card into. So you could have like a GTX 670 or a 660 um, running outside of your MacBook, and then you can link. If you've got the MacBook Airs, then you can actually link it back to the screen, and then you'll be able to play. You know, well over 60 frames. Um, you'll be able to max this game out. Or if you've got the the MacBook which I've got, then you'll have to run it to an external display. And it, as well, another thing you've got to take into mind, if you are going to run an external graphics card, with the method I'm going to show you in the description, then you will actually have to have a Thunderbolt port. So you've got a previous generation below mine, then unfortunately you won't be able to. Um, now, I've not actually got one myself, but I've got plenty of videos that I could show you, and you know, I could link you to it. And, you know, they're, they're doing better and better, and there is more and more, like, companies getting involved in this external graphics card for the MacBook, so I'm running it through the Thunderbolt. So I will, you know, I will be posting as much as I can on it, and I can give you as much description as you want if you have got a previous one. Now, getting back to this video, um, I was just in a firefight then, and I knocked down the resolution again, um, and I push it down to 1280 by 798, just to see if I can get better performance, and I'm way up there, and I'm like, you know, near enough 40 frames, and it just gives you, just the, the more frames you can get towards 60, the better I found with first person shooters, um, with my actual gaming computer, I like to play at 120 frames, so that just gives you an idea, I like it to be super smooth, um, but if you can get over 30 frames, and you can push more towards a 60, you can have a better advantage, um, um, and it's just, you know, it's, you just gonna have more fun. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you want me to cover the final release when it comes out, just let me know and leave a comment.